I've just sent an incident to ServiceNow and let's take a look at how our flow will run. So our new incident just came in and it's an incident to reboot a Windows server. And it has a configuration item populated, which is good. And we can also see that the assignment group of the incident got set to the Windows Server Support Group. So just to show the support group is set to Windows Server Support on that CI. So here's an example of how our flow was able to pull the support group directly off of a CI and set it on an incident. So again, this is a pretty big benefit for anyone who has populated their CMDB and gone a step further to make sure that they have the proper data populated on their CIs to make sure that everything is going to be set up to go to the right support team. So another example, I'll show another incident coming to service now. And so this one is for a database that has gone down. And we also have a configuration item populated here as well. And we can see that the assignment group is set to the database assignment group. So again, this CI, MS SQL Server, has a support group of database. So now we've demonstrated two different support groups going to two different incidents, just using the single flow that we've set up. But some people might think, well, this could be done very easily with assignment rules. And that is true. However, assignment rules do depend on users opening tickets properly. So say if, if, for example, the user who opened this ticket accidentally picked hardware as the category. So if I have assignment rules that depend on the category being set properly, then the assignment group on an incident like this would very much depend on the category being set properly. So. Say if that same incident was opened with a hardware category instead of the database category. Now, under different circumstances, that might go to a different assignment group and cause a delay in this incident being addressed. However, since we can utilize the support group directly from the configuration item, we can set the proper assignment group even if the user picks the wrong category for the incident. So by utilizing Flow Designer's uh, low code solutions, I can very easily set up a rule in a few minutes that will help me route incidents to the proper teams and get them resolved and addressed more quickly. So let's see how our Flow will handle new incidents that come into service now. So we've just received a new incident for a Windows server that needs to be rebooted. The configuration item was populated. And as we can see in the CMDB, the support group is set to the Windows server support team. And that's exactly what we can see on the assignment group for the incident. So now let's see what will happen if another kind of incident comes in. So now we've got a new incident for a database that has gone down and the configuration items also populated. Again, looking in the CMDB, we can see that the support group is populated. It's the database support group. And again, that's what we see for the assignment group on the incident. So this is showing how the same flow can set two different assignment groups on two different incidents by utilizing that dynamic step that we have in our flow that's pulling from the support group on the configuration item. And so lastly, let's see if that same incident came in for the database server, but 
Say the user who submitted accidentally picked the hardware category. Now, if I was relying on more static type of rules, uh, that's parsing category to determine the assignment group, this incident may have been sent to the wrong group, which can slow down the amount of time it will take to resolve the issue. So by relying on a well-built CMDB and automation through Flow Designer. This allows us to handle routing incidents correctly to the proper team and get them resolved more quickly. And that's gonna help us keep the business running smoothly. For more tutorials, please head over to the GlideFast YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.